Hello, 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 tis I, Ashley, aka Yar Stitch. I thank you. And welcome to my Floss Tube channel where I surprisingly discuss my cross stitch and anything that decides to compute in this brain and fall out of this mouth. Should be fun. To any new viewers turning up today, I would like to thank you and advise you to brace yourselves for the chaos that is about to ensue. Also, if you have a drink, please put down a coaster. Just a thing. Um, any returning viewers, the Floss Tube family, I'm the nerd herd full of our geek chicness, um, welcome back. I love you. Sending it all the way to you. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's been a little bit of a while longer than I thought I would be. Only a couple of weeks, not long, but it's... It's just been, work's been very, 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 very muchly a lot recent of the recentliness. Um, and I, I just kept thinking, yeah, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. I thought, as long as I do it by the end of April. So here I am on the actual last day of April. Floss tubing. So, that's what I'm doing here. Um, that's been going on since I last saw all of you. Um, it's been a couple of birthdays, my dad's, my brother-in-law's. Um, it's been Mother's Day. Um, what else has occurred? Not specifically with me, however, one of my friends has gone gallivanting off around the globe, um, in that direction. I think India's that way. Possibly that way, but it doesn't matter. They're having fun. I've just realised I've not got my ring on. Mark, turn away now. One sec. And no one was any the wiser. So, um, yeah, uh, a few things happened. I say work ramped up a little bit, which is why it's taken so long for me to get back to you. But we're not going to mind and complain about that. We're going to give you what you want, the cross stitch. So, let's just start where we start. Um, the one we're going to be looking at first is the Stefan Coidal piece, the Dragon Bones Underwater, which is charted by Contemporary Cross Stitch. Um, this wasn't in my last video because I lost all the threads and I didn't know what to do. But fortunately for me, Mark had found them because I can't look past the end of my nose. So, in true Yars fashion, here is what it will look like when it is finished. This is what it looked like when you last saw it. And this is what it looks like now. A little, little bit more foldies, a little bit more foldies. This is what it looks like now. Hobbs lots more done on it than was originally shown previously because there's a lot of just the same colour going through this. I mean, obviously, the closer you get up this side, they're all starting to change and stuff. But this is the bottom corner. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing that. It's been a bit nice. It's chillaxy with that. But, yeah, it's uh, nice to have it back. It's just, again, currently, because it's so much of one block colour in here, um, it's one of the mindless pieces. Stuff's falling over. Um, it's one of the mindless pieces that I can do, but... Coming up soon, I am going to have to start concentrating on it, so I shall do so. But yeah, that was that one. Um, next, moving on. Uh, apologies, little thingy here, because there's some rude words coming up. So if you don't like them, I'm really sorry they're coming up. So the next piece is one that a friend of mine asked me to complete for them. They purchased the pattern. I've purchased some of the threads and things like that. Um, it fits into as, well, sorry, completely forgot. This is 18 count white Ada using floss in my stuff that matches the numbers that are on the pattern because how it works. Um, yeah, so sorry, moving on to the next one, the pattern that my friend purchased, um, which was, I'm calling it Goist, as it, that, that sounds a little bit, you know, ye olde English, Goist. Um, and yeah, it fits into my now coined term of my yarsthetic um, of kind of historical, mythical, um, fantasy, you know, all that kind of, I lived in the 80s and I was brought up on cartoon stuff. Yeah, that stuff. So this piece, yeah, I say it's, I'm calling it Goist. Um, it's from Tiny Cross Stitches on Etsy. 
um, the picture itself, when it is finished, will look like this. Last time you saw it, I would said I wanted to complete the words, which I did, and it looked like this. And now for you gorgeously beautiful people, we're actually going to use the back of the dragon to do this because we realised that we don't actually have our thingy with us. Um, but this, my lovelies, is what it looks like now. So we're adding in some of the pretty, pretty flowers around the outside. Again, to anyone watching that's under the age of 18, I'm assuming just Lauren. Hey, Lauren! Um, then, yeah. Oh, maybe if I'm saying that, well, she may be lying to me, but my niece said that she watches this as well, and she's definitely underage. So I would apologise to you, but I've met your mother. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've lovely 14 count Ada that was just chopped off a piece that I had. Um, and I've got that far with it. It's all lovely and jubbly, isn't it? Okay. Uh, yeah, that was cool for that one. Um, next, we're moving into uh, one. Um, the piece, surprisingly, that I'm doing for my niece. The one that I just mentioned. Um, it's the Hogwarts... Um, what are they called? I've forgotten. I've got, I've just got like H. Potter written down here because it's kind of relative. But um, this is the Hogwarts, I'm going to say crest because I do believe that is the right word. Um, which is a printed pattern which was purchased for me by my brother-in-law for Christmas just gone. Um, it's beautiful. I am attempting to colour complete the 310 on this. So without further ado, when it is finished, let's get a wand. It will look like this. Magic, magic. I mean, because like when you last saw it, it looked like this. And here, without the wand, yeah, without the wand, is what it looks like now. So I went in on this. Again, it's kind of a, a mindless colour completing 310 Szechuan and this was the one that yeah, obviously I was helped out because I realised that I probably shouldn't be doing it six over one because someone doesn't understand stuff so we did this um, which is lovely and um, we got that far and we're just going to continue with that I mean yeah it's all I can really do at the moment it's a gift from a niece as soon as it's done I will wash it frame it and give it to her that's how it works in Flost, Flost, Quastich land when we give gifts to the people. So, we've done that one. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Next one we're going for is this one, apparently. Because why would we not? Because it's beautiful. Oh my God, stuff's falling over, guys. And I just don't know what I'm doing. Chaos, told y'all. <laughs> um, yeah. So, coming up next um, is one of my favourite things in the entire world. Uh, because it just is. So, um, this was going to be my lifelong project, um, because it's probably going to take me longer than 10 years to do so. I just hope it doesn't. I realise I've mucked up with it, and I had a thought. I don't, well, I haven't mucked up with it. I just keep regretting little decisions that I've made. So, so you guys know what I'm actually talking about. This piece yeah, is Once Upon a Fairy Tale by Amy Stewart, that was charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I don't know if anyone's ever heard of Heaven and Earth Designs. Anyway, um, this is what it will look like when it is finished. Folk. This is what it looked like last time you saw it. Macarena. And this is what it looks like now. Now, as y'all can probably see, the most of the things that have been done is like, I kind of filled in the purples and greys about all over here and stuff. I think I may have possibly also added in the orange bits down here because black, blue and grey get so boring. Um, and I do try and colour complete, but guys, like colour complete on a hay that's this big, that one, one colour, colour complete, yeah. I might as well, you know, research quantum mechanics and physics because this is going to be easier to do. But yeah, so 
Now, obviously, I've continued with this. As I mentioned kind of last time I spoke, I think I'm going to have to just find all the excess threads for these like little bits up here, which I have been going through and seeing what I can out of my own stash, but there are going to be quite a few that I need to buy. But yeah, that um, is currently where I am at with said heaven and earth. Um, I didn't, yeah, I didn't do as much as I wanted to on that, but I've still done some, so it's all beautiful. Um, also, because I keep forgetting when I'm putting stuff down, this thing, this printed one, is 11 count ADA printed. Um, obviously printed, I didn't draw that myself, it's not how it comes. Um, and this is 18 count, I want to say ADA, but I think it's actually even wheat. I might be like, it's 18 count fabric in white. It's just what it is. Okay, so just going to do some more ticks. So we've done that one. Next one. Now, this one is something I'm doing that I've just seen that it's probably got food on. Yeah, it probably has. It's going to get washed, it's fine. Um, so this one is one that I'm doing for something that is close to my heart, uh, my D&D &D campaign. Um, that my other half is running, uh, which hasn't been around for a while due to reasons, but you never know. There's magic involved. It might come back soon. We don't. Um, so I'm doing the D and D classes for the characters that are in my um, my um, um, in the campaigns that I am doing. We currently have a druid, we have a barbarian, we have a rogue, and we have a sorcerer. 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 Doesn't really matter. Anyway, so um, all of the patterns uh, were are created by White Raven patterns on Etsy. Um, the, pa the fabric I'm doing them on is a 14 count something again because I don't think it's Ada. I mentioned it last time, but it's it's something or other here. Yeah, anyway, so I would do a this is what it will look like when it's finished, but there isn't actually one of those because I'm creating it as I go along. I am using patterns from somebody, but um, I'm actually creating the bigger picture all myself. So let's just move into this is what it looked like last time you saw it. And this, as I open it and fold it out, fold it out and fold it out and open it up and stir. Let's let should have folded it better, really, shouldn't I? Uh, is this? This is where we got. That's my face. Hi. Um, so we've done the druid. Um, we've done the barbarian. We are now moving into the rogue. Um, and I am going to be amending the patterns a little bit, like to put names underneath and stuff and maybe add some extra little bits in. But yeah, this is just an ongoing project. We have no idea what it's going to look like when it's finished, apart from the fact that there's going to be a sorcerer class on the end to this. Um, but yeah, that's uh, where we are with that one for the Saga of the Crimson King. And OK, there's been swearing on the channel already. So the name of the group, the, the band of heroes that we are, we are known as the Ink Glorious Bastards. Reason for that being is that originally when we started playing, the person who is our rogue currently was actually our original dungeon master. Um, and they pulled their character from a previous game into our campaign once we hit level five. At that point, the character my other half was playing bowed out. They are still part of the story, but it's too hard to explain and became our DM. At which point the first levels that we played one to five were to do with something called the Stone of Galore. Um, so we then had our friend Ink come along. So it's Ink Galore. We knew where we were going with it because we're not really PC people, you know? We're, we're not horrible, nasty, nasty. We're not horrible people, um, but we kind of knew there was going to be something a little bit naughty about it. I would re reveal all of the names of the characters. However, I do feel that some people might get slightly offended. So if people want to know, please feel free to message me and I will let you know. Um, and if you've got any more interest in the D&D, obviously fantastic. So, yeah, that's how we kind of ended up with the Ink Glorious Bastards. Um, but, yeah, uh, lovely, lovely set of people. Um, can't wait to get back to playing with them, really. But let's move swiftly on, shall we? Yes. Right. So, D&D's done. 
Now, I've got two more pieces that I've been working on. I don't know what order to do. Let's do it in this order. So we'll just do it in the order that they're out because that's something different. And we're actually gonna move that through the back because that's wrong and that shouldn't be there. Technically at this point, because I'm putting a needle through, this is half a stitch with me, isn't it? Because, no, it's not, it's really, really not. Okay, so, starting. The next piece is, now, we all know I like to make plans. We all make plans. Um, my plans never go to plan because half a stitch. Not how it goes here, it's not what we do here. Um, but my plan is for this piece that I'm about to show you is I want it finished by the end of the year. Um, it's a piece I'm doing in memory of my nan um, and it is called Life in Countryside. When it is finished, it'll look like this. And this is what it looks like now. now. As you can see, there has been a for shizzle load that I have thrown into this. Mainly the like path down the bottom. Um, I've put, well, I've started, put, hang on, let's just move you in a little bit more so you can see it a bit better. Yeah, so that's how pretty that one is. So like, you know, just in case I don't take the pictures in a minute, I can screenshot this. Um, so looking at what I've actually done, obviously I did, mainly the road and things as such. I should just, well, I've just shown you the road, but anyway, that. Um, we then started filling in a load of these bits round here, the, the leaves and such in a couple of different colors. Um, what else did I do? Um, I've done some more of the bricks and things in the house. And I've also on this side started in some of the sky. I just, I couldn't put it down this month, it's been lovely. And also, if I'm 100% honest, with the stress that's kind of been going on personally for me this month, this has been a lovely release. It really, really has. It's really, really coming together. I want to move into that house. Don't really like reality, you'll find that watching this, really. But anyway, um, so yeah, also I noticed when counting through because I was carrying on, guys, I've made a little bit of a mistake up here because this is a lot closer to there than it should be, but it's right here, but everything else is right in place, but this is also right in place. And I don't really know what's going on, but in all honesty, I'm not really freaking out because then that means A, it's gonna be unique-ish because no one else will have this piece. And B, it's the leaves part. I can muck about with that. I'm not gonna freak out over that. So that's all good for me. Um, it's done on 14 count Ada with the kits thread that came in there. Apart from the fact of I'm going to need to get some more 310 because I use that for something else. Not the Harry Potter one, but I've used it on something else and I need some more 310 to go in yeah, somewhere. So that's that one. Okay, so that was life in countryside. Now, the next piece I have, I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way, mainly the two people that I'm about to say. However, the next piece is a new start it's also the first ever sow that I've joined. Um, reason for being is I was half guilted into it. Get the exhaustion one by one. Um, I don't even know if you could hear that, um, but I wasn't guilted, it's fine. Um, but basically, um, a floss tube channel that I've been watching recently, and some of the other people probably have as well, um, are stitching with my Little E, which is uh, Kayla and Lauren. Uh, mother and daughter, I, every time I get the notification, I'm just getting away, um, which is cool. But they've started a stitch along, um, which I say I felt guilted into. I didn't feel guilted into. I mentioned about Lauren and her back stitch, and it's becoming a running theme now. Um, but seriously, it's, it, yeah, I, I kind of feel like, I kind of felt like I was there a little bit. Uh, but guys, it's all fun and games. We all know that. I mean, much love to you both. Anyway, so moving swiftly on because chaos and rambling is happening. Cat, 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 boom. So they have been stitching on their birthstone gnomes. I said what I said, right? So they've been stitching on their birthstone gnomes and they started a sow, which I will lovely put up down here, which is the hashtag gnomes gnomes everywhere sow. Now, 
the reason I started this now at the time I was like I don't need any more new starts because I said I say I felt guilted into it it's just a way of saying I'm enabling myself by using somebody else to enable myself um, to do this I thought I can do that I'd like a gnome I'd like a gnome so I sat scrolling through the interwebs and you know um, uh, Etsy Amazon and all that and on Etsy I was literally just about to give up and one came up and it just felt right. It felt so, so right. So I picked it and I purchased it and I'm going to show you guys, hang on, what name is it? Right, he's known as Hippie Gnome 5 on Cross Stitching Goods on Etsy. He's known as Hippie Gnome 5. Now, I'm calling him Waymond, W-E-Y-M-O-N-D. If you know, you know. Um, and in a second, if you know, you know, you'll have it confirmed. But basically, I'm calling him Waymond. Um, and hopefully any of you that do know will know because when it's finished, it will look like this. And as you can see, well, I say as you can see, there is no previously on Stitching with Waymond. Um, so this is currently where I have got to with it. Raymond, be kind. Now this is being stitched on, I wanna say 14, but this might actually be 18 count. I mean, you see the needle coming out the bottom. Um, but yeah, this is how far I got with this one um, so far. I am enjoying it. I've just seen a muck up on the back, but never mind. Um, this is how far I've got with it. Um, I, I love the colors. I mean, it matches up to the kind of reference that I'm making with it, which, I'm now going to explain. So, I mean, I'm hoping that I've held this up long enough that this will automatically become my thumbnail. Because, be kind. So, the reason his name is Waymond and the reason I'm using Be Kind is, I think I've mentioned this possibly before. However, last year, last year? Last year. One of the best films to ever grace cinema, TV, screen, which ever, Lidge, ever, Lidge, ever, de, Melissa Etheridge, whatever. Um, and it was Everything Everywhere All at Once. Now, if you haven't seen it, you need to go and see it. If you have seen it, I know, right? Um, so, it's, I don't want to say too much about it, even though you can't really describe it. However... There is a moment in the film at which the character Waymond says one of the most beautiful things. I'm not going to I cried. I cried. But there's a moment and I'm going to spoil it for people now. Um, well, hopefully not. But basically, there's a moment where he says. We have to be kind, especially when we don't know what is going on. And that has rung with me. It really, really has. And it, it stuck. And I feel like as much as it was just a line in a film, it's affected me. And it's proper, it's got in there and it's it's been computing. And I'm trying, if I'm honest, because don't get me wrong, I can see myself turning into a bit of a cynical old man, which, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm 39 in a couple of weeks, you know, and I know I don't even, shush. Um, but, you know, so, and I'm, you know, that's it's a year away from 40. And don't get me, I, I understand there are people of different ages on here, you know. And as I was told years and years and years ago by my nan, you know, growing old is inevitable. Growing up is optional. Yeah, yeah, you know, and uh, like I say, I'm, life is something that, only so many people get to do. I mean, there are billions of us, you know, but we're the lucky ones, you know, because sometimes growing old, some people don't get to do, you know. So anyway, before we get to her uh, and, you know, I'm just sat here in tears, like I've just watched the colour purple or something. Uh, um, then, yeah, so be kind. It was just something that stuck with me and it's it's making me happy. Granted, it's that film, everything, everywhere, all at once. I'd people probably are aware it won everything this year the cast the crew the film and rightly deserved rightly deserved um michelle yo 
Keith Y. Kwan, Stephanie Sue, Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh my God, I've forgotten his name, but Lopan. I'm so sorry. I will put it in here, but Lopan, who's in it also as the dad. And even Becky, you know, just it's, you all made one of the best things and it's it's going to be in my top 10 films of all time for the rest of my life. It's going to be hard to knock off. So, um, yeah, that's that's why I'm currently stitching. I know that I'm calling Waymond and it says be kind. So, like I say, if you get the chance to watch everything everywhere all at once, please feel free. If you've watched it and you want to sound out, sound off about it in the comments, again, feel free. So. Um, that, if I'm 100% unast, okay-ish, kind of, no I am unast, un honest, real words, Ash, yeah, um, is all I've really done this year, this year, this, since you saw me last, even, um, right, there have been plans that have been going ahead, which, surprise for me, um, so, a bit crinkling, but not much, I hope, so, I told a lot of you, that I was going to, not I was going to, I was creating a pattern which I can now for myself confirm I have finished the writing portion of it. Um, I am going to be adding stuff to it but I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to reveal it at all yet. I say it is a personal one, it's not something that I'm really going to think about making a purchase unless people possibly want to. Um, I am putting a lot of time and effort into it, you know, and I have mentioned it to a few people. Um, but, I'll see, anyway, so, it's kind of like a Christmassy-ish theme, because it's to do with Critical Role, so it's like Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Christmas, I might be wrong here, but basically, from what I can tell, Christmas isn't really a thing in Dungeons and Dragons land. Anyway, so kind of, for my personal view, the counterpart of that is something called Winter's Crest. In Critical Role there was a poem that was done in a short called Narrative Telephone which is basically Chinese Whispers for Adults um, and yeah it was this lovely beautiful poem that I thought was lovely and at the end of that video one of them said wouldn't it be lovely if this was all stitched up and since then as I probably said in my last video oh, that's all I've had on my mind. So I created it I think doesn't matter. Anyway, so I got the pattern finished and I was like, right, so the actual piece, I didn't want to do it on white, like plain Ada, I wanted to do it on something that was colourful. So I went out and I got some, where did I write it guys? I wrote it, I got some navy blue Ada Zweigar 18 count from Stitchtastic. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry, I was just checking to see if you could actually still see me while I was over here, because otherwise that would be really rude. Anyway, um, so it's in navy blue. Yeah, it's 18 count. Now, um, this is the Ada in question, which I have marked out the space. Of, not that you can see that. No, I don't want to open it properly yet. I marked out the space where the writing is going to go and things like that. Now, as I've said, I want it to kind of look like a little bit of a night sky. So just to kind of show myself where I was starting, I threw in some yellow for the top part of it. Now... To me, that yellow seems a little bit too bright, like, you know, like kind of chicken feather. Chicken feather? What? The chicken feather? Chick, like kind of yellow eastery colour. I think that's like too bright and stuff. Like if you guys see it. I want something lighter, but I don't want something too light because I kind of want, like I say, I want it to kind of look like night shining in the sky. But I am aware very muchly that it is the words and they are going to complete the most of it. So if anyone's got any ideas on what kind of yellows might go well, to like, you know, or maybe even Christmas themey colours that I could use for the writing to go on this navy blue Ada, I am all ears. So that was that. So that was my little bit of haul there that I purchased last month. Also, because it can't travel alone. Oh my gosh. I know. I know. So, oh my gosh. Right, anyways, um, what else has happened? Um, I'm reading my notes that I scribbled down and I can't read them. So, uh, um, what else has been going on with me? Kind of spoke a little bit about everything ever all at once. Um, over the past month, well, no, I, there is a little honourable mention here I do want to throw in. Um, my film of last year was obviously Everything Ever All At Once. My film of this year so far that I've watched 
um, is a film called RRR, which is um, a an Indian film, which it's amazing. It's I think it's about two and a half, three hours long, but like everything ever all at once it will make you it will send you through the entire set of emotions you'll be happy you'll be sad you'll be angry you'll be joyous you'll be frustrated you will be vengeful however you will also know that you've watched an amazing film so um yeah i don't want to spoil any more than that because i'm very bad at that um so triple r um yeah Go out and watch it, it's amazing. And other than that, there's not really much else. If I've forgotten anything, I'm ever so sorry. Um, whomever, uh, my plans going forward are probably gonna be broken, if I'm honest. I mean, I will continue stitching on the main stuff that I've got here. Um, like I say, if any of you guys have got any thoughts on what to do with the Yellow on the Naviator, um, any like thoughts in regards to what I'd wanna do with this, this beautiful piece, yeah, the restarting and all that, and bits and bobs. Um, yeah, obviously, feel I say feel free, you're allowed to go and watch the films and things that I've suggested. But other than that, I think we're all done. Um, I would say a little bit short and sweet, I think it's probably about half hour ish, but you know, that's kind of it. Um, yeah, there's nothing else. If anyone wants to know how to make friendship bracelets, Frizzy Lizzy Stitches has just brought out a how to make these really cool friendship bracelet things, so go give her a look. Um, other than that, I'm going to jump off. Um, I plan to be back before the end of May. I really, really do. Um, and yeah, um, just happy stitching, guys. Stay safe, stay sane as much as you can um and yeah um don't forget be kind right i'll see you all soon love you lots bye